Hello everyone, it's Kara and welcome back to my channel. Before we get started, I just want to note that all materials I use will be listed in the description box of this video or down below. Today I decided to color this little line art that I have. This is one of the many little coloring pages I've been working on for my Patreon. However, this specific page is not on there yet. Also, I just want to add, because I'm thinking about it, uh, my Copics actually worked surprisingly well. This is a paper that I haven't used previously, so yeah, something new to try out. <laughs> Anyways, while drawing, I will be talking to you guys about how I found my style, because it's been highly requested, uh, how I am still developing my style, and tips on how you can improve your own style or develop it. To start off, I have been drawing consistently since I was about 13 years old, which was roughly around 8 years ago. When I first started out, all I really wanted to draw was anime because, let me be real, I was a weeb. <laughs> anyway, I didn't really drift away from the harsh anime style until about 2 years into my drawing experience. I was always hesitant on changing my style because I simply just liked the anime style and I thought I would continue with that forever. So yeah, my art style journey really began after that two year mark and I was scrolling through YouTube and came across an artist by the name of Miss Carrie J. I will link her channel in the description below because she still exists. Uh, Miss Carrie J had this beautiful and unique realistic cartoonish style. I don't really know how to describe it but I found the style beautiful and was really drawn to it. She was also using Copic markers, which I had never seen before at the time. I was really inspired by the way she drew hair, and I decided I would try to replicate it. Just the hair. And I ended up adding way, way too many ha hair strands into my art, and it didn't look fluffy and flowy like hers. But I kept doing the same thing. And today you can still see the line detail in my hair, it, but it's a lot more precise than it was back then. And use this line art, for example, you can still see the line details. It's just, as I said, more precise. So that was kind of step number one to finding my own style. Step number two to finding my own style came during high school. I took a basic high school art class, and my teacher kept urging me to try realism to help improve the features of my quote-unquote anime work. He supported what I drew, however, he just thought realism would help me improve the style I was attempting to gain, if that makes sense. Needless to say, I had to do a few realism projects, which 15 and 16 year old Kara really did not like. Soon after though, I was completely shocked at how much the realism practice was able to actually help me improve the facial features, spacing, structure, etc. of my faces, and the anatomy. Now, anatomy I am still having issues with today, however, I continue to practice and try to improve on that as well. To this day, I am actually still adding more aspects of realism into my art while keeping a cartoony look thanks to my coloring and the line art. The eyes of my characters went through many stages. Uh, sometimes I'll still draw tear ducts, sometimes I will take those away for a more cutesy style, but Honestly, other than that, I've pretty much stayed consistent with my style. Finding a style is more or less just trying different techniques or different shapes or features or different things just to see what you like doing the most. So to sum it up, step out of your comfort zone and try realism and experiment with different techniques and styles. Um, I hope you guys found this video helpful in some way. Or if not, then I hope you at least learned something about me. If you like this video, feel free to leave a like down below because that shows that you enjoy what I am doing. If you like my art, feel free to, to uh, subscribe for future videos. And I will see you guys in the next video.